Now before I actually talk about the cutscene, you can go ahead and turn around, turn right around and go back in here. You'll find Genius sitting down at the bottom of these stairs. And you can actually talk to him and he'll join your party. Which is cool. You know, finally we get he can finally he'll join us after God knows how long. <laughs> Genius, I said be quiet, how many times have to repeat myself? Ah, oh, Jack, sorry. I have to shut up with my studies for too long. So why don't you come fracken hunting with me then? Are you serious? Sure am. Oh, alright. I can't do much shut up in here all the time. Who knows, I might find the clue or two. Okay, anyways. I really like that last cutscene. I'm in general I'm a fan of Revelation cutscenes like like you know what, like we just saw plus uh You know, another good one I can think of, it's actually one of my favorite uh, video game cutscenes of all time, is... How many, for those of you who play Mass Effect, the... I think it's Vigil? It's a Mass Effect one, is Vigil or Virgil? I forget his name. But you... Oh. But basically, there's a cutscene where you talk to him and he gives you... He has a lot of light on what's going on. Like, that cutscene honestly sticks to good to this day. Like, I, I especially love it when video games, like... So that past cutscene, I actually brought back the title screen music, which is I don't believe we've heard at any other point in this game. And at Mass Effect, they actually did the same thing, coincidentally enough. But I, I, for some reason, I love it when games do that. Because it kind of gives the title screen, I guess, the, the ti excuse me, the title song, the title meant the title theme, is that what you call it? Uh, it gives it more, it gets more meaning, like every time I turn on this game, I start thinking of that cutscene now, and I thought you go the wrong way. Okay, there we go. So that's about that. I actually at this point, no, out of the way, you stupid rat. But at this point, that is actually the last Thanos question, or the question, the last Thanos mission we can do in the entire game. So, give yourself, if you're following along, give yourself a good pat on the bat. That is a little bit of an undertaking. Some of those missions are legitimately annoying, especially that ultimate battle one. I can't believe I died on that still. Or you know, I, I can't believe I died on it. I can't believe I actually ran it <laughs> just so I could do that without grinding. So I'm slightly insane. Hi, Owen. I'm slightly insane. I'm not insane, I'm really lazy. That's why that actually has something to do my laziness actually has something to do with the reason why I bought 25 pure drops and fleet balls. But you know, I'll go I'll go into that more later. You know, we don't need to worry about that right now. Anyways, now we just want to head right back on up to the lobby of Theater Van Core and talk to Thanos and give him a quick briefing. Even though we can't actually tell him anything, so you know that would cause a public panic if we got word got out that humanity's doom was at was like a few days away probably. Or very close, but you don't actually know the time frame. No the one time I don't want to shoot my party, I examine it. No, yeah, okay. Yes, I'm good. Thank you. Hey! How was it you find thing? <laughs> I don't think we need to worry about it anymore, do you think? Get to learn to check? Yeah, why why not? I? It's giant mice, and did you get rid of them? Yeah, they really kind of ran away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna buy that? Nope, not really. But I guess you get reasons, well, whatever. Then go ahead and talk to him again, and... Nice work, kid, thanks to you. Carlos is freaking out. We managed to clear out our backlog. All the jobs are done! I can finally take a vacation, I owe you one. I'm so glad I gave you vacation time. What am I supposed to do now? You're asking me? Go out on your own, find your own clients, get rich. You think I should go solo? You don't think you can do it? We've all got to start somewhere. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> My voice cracked over. Take me for example. I thought I was tough in the beginning. Now look at me. Well, look at me now. I don't know. I'm working like clockwork. Just you sit behind the desk. Shoot, I've lost free time. Maybe I can help you out sometime. And Thanos joined the friends list. And if we actually go through and look at that friends list, if you've been following me at least, you'll see that's first Owen. You can see that we actually have all the Data Bank card members now. Which, like I was saying earlier, opens up our, our ability to recruit Elwyn. But I won't be doing that for a little bit because that is extremely difficult. You need to duel her, and she is probably the best 1v1 character in the entire game. If not the best character in general in the entire game. She's insanely strong, a lot of HP, multi blast to boot. It is very, very difficult. Okay, but anyways, at this point, I don't think there's actually much for me to do. So I already got Franklin. I'm actually gonna go ahead and wait around a little bit, so... Oh, I have to wait, like... Half a day. Talk to Claudia. Is it worth it? Is it really? I feel like I can time it better sometime other, some other time. I don't know what to do. Uh, I might just... I'll just go to sleep now. I, I... 
sucks. I don't want to. I don't want to sit here and wait five years in order to do this. Let's just go to sleep. I don't. This is, this won't trigger any cutscenes, but it does set the cogs in motion for the next one, which I believe you need to sleep, then leave, and come back into your house. But it's worth noting, if you're doing the fireworks festival, at this point you're not going to want to enter your house until you've determined who your uh, date to the fireworks festival will be, because. Your, your date is determined right after this next cutscene. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and run in circles here for a bit. Hi, Milf Priyanka. You have a name, I'm a horrible person. I'm gonna go ahead and show off a little side thing I discovered recently. I was actually watching uh, another Let's Player I watch actually stream this game. It was, actually, it was a little surprising. I knew he was considering Let's Playing it, which is part of the reason why I subscribed, but he actually, he's actually a very good Let's Player. Uh, his name's, his usual name is Atma01, if you don't know. And like I said, he's planning on doing a uh, Radiata story, so even though my, my Let's Play of the game is coming to a close here in probably about 5-7 parts, his will be starting eventually. I don't have a ETA on that or anything. But I guarantee it's probably going to be a great Let's Play. I'm sure he'll cover anything I might have missed. Like, honestly, I feel kind of bad that I didn't really cover the training, de training dummies all that much. And I didn't really show off skills as much as I should have. But, you know, I still have some... I'm planning on going back and redoing a few things like after I'm done with the Let's Play. You know, not for like a year or two, I don't know. <laughs> not for a long time. So I'm kind of sick of Let's Playing this game. But I'm planning on going back and covering anything I might have missed. Like those three... I there's a few characters I missed along the way. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. I know there's the three Bilge Builders guys. I missed, I messed up on those and I'll show you how to fix that. Plus I'll go ahead and do the dummy. But if you actually come right here, look to the left and press circle. Press circle. The Training Night Math Exam. 5 out of 100. <laughs> Some people are such idiots. Name Jack Russell. Sorry, I kept it bit. Hey, this guy's same name as me. No, wait. This is mine. <laughs> I love that. It's like, it's so kind of obscure. And the Daily Report. Special edition coming soon. Uh, I forgot about these until recently. That actually brings me to my next point about this game. I know I've always said I like the humor in the game. Like, it always has a nice little musical humor to it. Plus... But my, like the number one thing on top of like what I really mean by all that is this game never takes itself too seriously. If you haven't noticed, like even that last cutscene, that was almost as serious as this game gets. And you notice that the, at the very end of it, he calls Genius a fruitcake. <laughs> it's like that's kind of out of nowhere, but I love it. It's just it's a nice touch. You can just kind of chuckle, even though I'm guessing most people like when you're playing a game like an RPG or something, you don't want to like have like serious cutscenes be crack a joke or something. You know, maybe I'm weird like that, but I actually really appreciate that little, like all the little things to do. Even you'll even see in this upcoming cutscene, it cracks few, few, even few more jokes, and it's just I absolutely love that about this game. And despite all the criticisms I've given it throughout this entire Let's Play, it still means a lot to me. This game, this game, this game, this game. <laughs> Sorry, I just make fun of myself when I repeat lines. But anyways, I think at this point. I believe if I head back into my house, it'll trigger the next cutscene. Hopefully, if not, I'll need to enter my house after 5 p.m. or so. I'm not 100% certain on that because, you know, nothing indicated otherwise. I should be good here. Yeah, okay. I'm home! Not that there's anyone here. That's so sad. Huh? A letter? What's this doing here? Who's it from? Hey, it's from the captain! Man! I haven't heard from him in ages! <laughs> I love how he like, dances around. He's so happy. My friend Jack, I hope this finds you well. I trust, I trust you remember to remember your old captain, Gantz. Oh, the song Much brings back so many good stories. It's my favorite character I'm theme, Lizzie. The I've been able to find a place for myself here, thanks to my colleagues, Ms. Winker and Miss Flower. It's taken some time, but I'm starting to learn the ropes. isn't always easy. The 
It's nothing like our old life in the nights, but I'm doing my best. Life goes on, as they say. It's given me the opportunity to think back on the times we spent together in the brigade. Jack, there was something I always wanted to discuss with you, but could never bring myself to mention. I've long wanted to talk to you about our fathers. As I'm sure you remember, my father vanished some 16 years ago. He left immediately after your father died. At that time, I hated my father for what he'd done, for the shame that he'd brought upon us. He'd simply disappeared from our lives, leaving my mother and me alone. But now, somehow, I think I'm finally starting to understand what my father was feeling at the time. Humans are strange creatures, aren't they, Jack? We have such a short time to live our lives. But in our brief lifetimes, we still find the time to fall in love with one another. On the other hand, perhaps it is precisely because our time in this world is so short that we are able to love other people so completely and with such astounding conviction. My father was no different, I think. He possessed the same human heart that we all do. I believe that, in spite of everything, my father did love me, as any father loves his child. Jack, my friend, I will be leaving Radiata soon. I have a very long journey ahead of me. I don't think we will meet again for quite some time. But... If you ever find the man who killed your father, I hope that you will fight him with all your courage and strength. Even if, even if that man should be called Gawain Rothschild. Jack, as your friend, I pray that you will succeed one day and that your father will finally be avenged. Until we meet again. Your faithful servant, Gantz Rothschild. The captain's tougher than he looks. I absolutely love the song they used in that cutscene. It's so gorgeous. Even though it's really kind of heartbreaking. That's what makes it so good. It's like, it matches that scene so perfectly. It's like, oh. Sorry, I'm just having a little bit of a... I'm having an episode. <laughs> I love that cutscene. Like, a lot of the endgame cutscenes in this game are really good. Hey, Lady Natalie. How long are we going to just sit here keeping watch? Leonard, how many times are you going to ask me the same question? Well, let's see. That was the 24th. <laughs> if you know, stop asking already. <laughs> We're not leaving this spot until we've found Lady Ridley and taken her home. Got it? I'd like to rescue her too. But if she never comes out, there's not a lot we can do just sitting out here. I said we wait. This is stupid. Let's just sneak into the fort, okay? I don't think I can sit out here for too much longer. What? Uh? 
What is it? Uh, it it's her! Lady Ridley! Lady Ridley, it's Natalie! Your father ordered us to come here! He's so worried! We're here to take you home! Lady Ridley, you can come with us back to the castle! Lady Ridley? Lady Ridley! Lady Ridley! You sleazeball! What have you done to her? Oh, how tiresome. Humans again. Go away. We have no time to waste on dorks like you. Listen, Elf! Hand Ridley over, now! You can leave this to me. You go on ahead. Very well, thank you, Gawain. D did he say Gawain? You're Gawain? That's right. Sir Gawain, if you please. I don't get it. If you want Ridley, you're going to have to go through me first. Shut up, you turncoat! You double-crossing swine! You'll pay at the point of my sword! Leonard, back me up! Right, boss. Mm. <laughs> don't worry. Your wounds aren't fatal. I don't think you'll be able to move for a while. 